I'm Linda from Seville. And I'm here today to um, show you, demonstrate for you, how you can make a very special gift this year. Um, for somebody who you would choose maybe to be with, to be near, but you can't be because of the pandemic. Um, so, or somebody that even lives in the same household as you, but you want to just create something that's very personal just for them. I don't really have a name for this. Maybe you'll come up with a good name. Uh, but the idea is that it's a, it's a bottle with memories on it, lots and lots of memories. Um, and it's very personalized for the person you're giving to. It can be for any age and it can be made by any age. It's, uh, a, a younger person could make this as well as an adult. Um, so what do you need? You need a bottle and a wine bottle works best, very honestly, but it could be really any shape of bottle, but a wine bottle works really nicely. Um, clean it up as much as you can. Get all the uh, sticky stuff off as much as you can. Um, you need Mod Podge, which you can get just about anywhere anymore. A sponge brush is best. You could use any kind of brush, but a sponge brush gives it just a little bit smoother of a coating. And an option is to have one of these um, it's a, this is, looks like a cork, and then there's lots of the little tiny miniature lights um, that you will then put down into the bottles to sort of backlight all the things that you've put on the surface. When my friend made this for me, we had just graduated from high school, and so on it she put all kinds of words and pictures of things and things she had pulled out of magazines, all having to do with things that we did. Um, as we were growing up, lots of memories, things that would, so the whole, the bottle was very unique to, um, to my growing up and the friends that I had in school. Um, so no two bottles are ever going to be the same. It really depends on, on the person. So I've started one here. Oh, the other main essential, the, the thing that will be the most time consuming is you've got to gather together. I, I would make a list, first of all, of what you've done together, what you've done that was so unique. Um, what does that person care about? What have you done together? What kind of phrases? Do they have phrases that they say all the time? Do they have favorite movies or books um, or songs? What makes that person different from everybody else you know? What makes your friendship important? What things have cemented your friendship? Um, do you have pictures on your on your cell phone? Um, is there something you can download from the computer? Can you um, put a phrase and then make different kind of lettering to make it interesting? You're going to want to gather all that. So I've gathered a lot of those kinds of things in front of me. Um, so I have I've sort of I've sort of organized my piles. Um, the one I'm going to make uh, is. Um, sort of a, a gift for somebody who loves books. So I've got pictures of books that I've taken from the, the internet. I've got quotes about books and about reading. And I've got quotes taken from books that we have both read and, and enjoyed. So this whole thing is gonna be sort of a tribute to the person who loves to read and has read um, some of the books that I've included on here. And so what I suggest you do is I suggest you kind of come up with a focal point. So I already started this one. Um, the, for the focal point, and I, I put it sort of in a center place, and then I can build off of that. It's kind of like a Scrabble game. You kind of want to build off of what you got. So this quote is, one must always be careful of books and what's inside them, for words have power to change us. Well, I thought that was very appropriate because as we read, we grow. Um, and certainly that would have meaning for her. And then I also have this, this quote from Neil Gaiman, picking five of your favorite books is like picking five body parts that you'd most like not to lose. Well, we know that there's nothing that we want to lose, and so there's no point in trying to pick five of your favorite books. You just keep wanting to add to the books that you read. So what I'm going to do then, and like I said, anybody can do this. Once you've done sort of the gathering of your pictures and the thoughts that you have, then, and cutting them out, cutting them to whatever kind of size, and you don't have to be real exact, but let's say I'm gonna put down here a copy of a book that I know we both really liked. We really liked A Tree Grows in Brooklyn. So I think I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just 
I put Maj Paj on here on the bottom and I can kind of move this around until it's in a good place. I think I'm going to move it a little bit more over here. Overlap is good. You don't have to fill every space, but overlap is fine. Um, don't worry about perfectly straight edges or anything like that. Um, the idea is it's it, 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 to look like a collage, and that's perfectly fine. So then up here, I'm going to put a little more Maj Paj on the bottle. And then I'm going to take a quote from that, that book. I don't know if you've read A Tree Grows from Brooklyn, but it's, it's a story of a young girl who's very poor, growing up in the 1920s, and, but she's an avid reader and she loves to write. And this is a quote from the book by Betty Smith. The library was a little old shabby place. Francie thought it was beautiful. She liked the combined smell of worn leather bindings, library past, and freshly inked stamping pads better than she liked the smell of burning incense at high mass. I thought that was a really good quote for people who love libraries. So I'm going to put this on. Now this is a fairly big quote. Normally I might not make something this big, but because I think it's, it's really indicative of, of a love of books, I thought I would include it. So I'm going to put the Maj Paj down and I'm going to, it, it acts as a glue. So this will now stay in place. I don't necessarily cover this right away. Sometimes it's kind of good, especially when you're working with paper, to let it dry so that when you put the top coat on, it doesn't just turn into a pulpy mess. Um, so, uh, so that's what I'm going to do with that. And then I'm going to fill in with maybe a few more books here. Books that I know we've both read. Here's a Stephen King that I particularly liked. And you don't want things straight lines. You want them to be kind of, like I said, collage looking. Um, and then you'll just continue on along. All right, so let's say I've got the bottle filled now. I don't want you to have to wait while I do all of this. Um, then you take your brush and you go over everything and you put a coating on top. It's going to show kind of white. But that's okay, it dries clear. So just the, the thing you want to be careful of is to make sure you get all corners and edges down nice and tight. Um, but don't worry about the whiteness of the coating um, because it does go clear. Just make sure everything is nice and tight because anything that's kind of sticking up like an edge, it will catch on things. And um, before you know it, that part might, might tear. But this coating makes things tough enough that um, it should last for a long time. I had mine for at least 10 years, and it did break in a move. Broke my heart when I did. Um, but other than being really careless, and I didn't certainly didn't want that to happen, this should last for a good long time. So you just continue. Like I said, usually I try to fill the whole bottle. Uh, before I put on a coat and you and once it dries you may even want to give it a second coat So I want to show you a finished product The manager here at Seville was a wonderful lady and I really enjoyed her and she's moved on to the Lodi library She stayed within Medina County District Library um, System, but she moved it to a little bit bigger library than we are here at Seville but I wanted her to know how much we appreciated her service all those years that we, we worked together. So I made this for her. Um, you can see that I pretty well covered the whole bottle. It's, been, it's got two coatings on it. Um, I used pictures of programs that we did together. So there's lots of, of pictures with kids in them because she loved kids a lot and loved the programming we did with kids. Um, I've, I've taken, there's a, an article upon us, so that's in here. Um, I made my focal point sort of the Seville Library entrance. Um, so she loves dogs, so I have something in here on dogs. She also loves chickens, so I, I've got a phrase here for her about chickens. Um, so this is kind of the final product. And then I put my little stopper in, and I, I don't know if it shows on the, shows well, but this then lights up. Um, and so she can put it someplace where she can just kind of get uh, get a look at it every once in a while and, and remember the good times we had here at Seville. 
So it doesn't take much. Like I said, Mod Podge, a bottle, some magazines or some things that you print off the computer or off your phone. This thing just adds a nice little touch with the, the putting the, the lights down inside and the fact that there is a switch on and off. You can um, turn it off or, or leave it on. And, and that's it. But I can promise you that if you give this to somebody, it will be very meaningful for them and something that nobody else is going to get them. Um, it will it truly be a gift from the heart. So I thank you for watching this and I hope you um, can light up somebody's life with a, a, a bottle full of memories. Thank you.